hi. How are you doing? Fuck that shit. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rylan. Um, it's January 12th, 2017 at 7.38 p.m. Um, don't mind the music in the background. There's just a low key orgy going on and I just like, I needed to take a break and make a video and tell everyone what was going on in my life. Um, so here I am, Miley Cyrus is playing, but whatever. Um, so yeah, welcome. I'm totally kidding about the orgy, but I did want to make a video because uh, I wanted to make a video about my transition, and here's what's up. So basically, y'all, for those of you that are watching my video for the first time, you're probably like, what the fuck is the girl doing with her top off and going like this and showing us her boob and, like, having hairy armpits and shit? Well, for those of you who don't watch my videos, y'all, I'm transgender. Um, uh, and that's what this video is about. So three... I started my transition in 2015 when I was 25 years old. I came out to myself on January 23rd, 2015, and I identified as FTM, which means female to male, because I am, like, I was assigned female at birth, and I identified as male. And I started to medically transition by taking testosterone in uh, uh, July 2015. So I was on testosterone as a whole... Um, for, I was on testosterone for, um, two years. And then in April this year, April, 2017, I stopped taking tea and I've been off of it now for eight months. And the reason I stopped taking testosterone is because I realized that my gender identity was a lot more complicated than just being a binary transgender human being. And the binary meaning that two, bi, two, bisexual, biracial, bicycle, two. Um, and I realized that I, so, and binary, so men and women, so I did not feel that that fit me anymore, and I realized that my gender goes so much farther beyond that, and that now I identify as gender fluid, simply meaning that I identify, as, uh, <clears throat> identify both as male and female. So that's that. Um, and then I had top surgery in August 2016, which is like why I have these delicious scars on my chest. Um, but anyway, so I started doing this photo series before I started testosterone. Um, and what I ended up doing is I took pictures of me pre-T and then I took pictures at six months, which I don't have included in this series, mostly because I don't know where they are. Um, but then the pictures that I took today are me eight months off of testosterone. I stopped in April and now it's eight months. Um, and a lot of changes have happened since being off of tea. I have a couple videos on uh, what has changed, and I can put that in the link below. Uh, and I will also put the video of why I stopped taking testosterone, because I, I just don't feel like explaining it, because it's just, there's a lot of reasons, and it's like, I'm not going to waste my time uh, explaining that, because I made like a 12-minute video about it already. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share with everybody how, how much my face has changed. Do I think it's like the most drastic thing in the entire universe of human life? No, but I think it's enough and noticeable. Um, especially around my jaw, I think is where most of the changes happened. Uh, pre-T I had a very, not even pointy, but just like, yeah, like pointy, jaw and then when I was on T it really rounded out to kind of get this square very masculine look and now that I've been off it's kind of gone back now I would like to note I think I think this is quite important I weigh I think maybe 10 pounds I think if at any of those pictures taken at the year or the pre-T that I was 10 years 10 pounds heavier than I am now. So I just want to note that those changes that have happened in my face are not because like I gained a lot of weight or whatever. It's like I weigh the same and it's just, that's what the hormones were doing to my shit, you know? 
Um, so yeah, I think it's exciting and I wanted to share and I, I, I don't know that I'm going to do another picture in this series because I don't know what would happen. Uh, I mean, maybe in a year if I get like tattooed eyebrows or like extensive Botox or like, I don't know, like I bleach my skin. I don't know. Like maybe then I'll take more pictures and continue this series but I think this is, I think this is it, you know, I think, yeah, I'm proud of it. And I think that my, that I've taken well to not being on testosterone. Cause like I said, a lot of fucking changes have, have changed y'all. A lot of stuff goes back to the way that it, that it was before. Um, and yeah, I'm just really confident in who I am now. I'm really happy that I'm able to express my gender outwardly, such as my gender expression, like my clothing and stuff like that in a way that I feel comfortable uh, doing, whether that's in a more androgynous way, whether it's full femme or whether it's in an entirely like masculine manner. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you all the pictures. Um, and yeah, let's take a look. Let's see what the hap is. All right. Bye. Okay, so this first picture, ta-da. So first of all, I would just like to note that on all the pictures for the eight months off of T, so all the pictures on the right side, um, I do not have a filter on my skin. And I might for the, probably for the first two, but I didn't put one on the last one because I wanted to show how much uh, my skin change my skin has changed. Um, <laughs> of course, my phone goes off. Um, I think this is pretty cool. I think the biggest change for sure is uh, my chin compared to, just in all of them, honestly. The first one of how pointy it is, and then it kind of starts to round out on the one year on T, and then it looks to go back. And then I think this is just the most dramatic thing I've ever seen in my life. Because it's like even pre-T, it's kind of masculine. But then one year on T, I look like my fucking brother, even though I don't have a brother. And then the last one, I just look like a little girl. So I think that's pretty crazy, y'all.